Well, hello there again. Uh, welcome back. I've been among the missing for a while. Um, if I don't get all this done, you don't see it all, well, you'll see enough to be able to ad-lib the rest of it. Um, there is a need to understand that what, what you do when you're working with wood is you're working with machinery. And that machinery does not care nor does it recognize the difference between your finger or hand and the wood that you're working with. So no matter what you're doing and no matter where you've been taught to do what you're doing, uh, be careful. Um, you only have ten fingers and don't grow back. You only have two eyes and when they're gone you can't see. And uh, some of this stuff makes some really high-pitched noises, so ear protection is not totally out of the question. A uh, surface planer, router, uh, even a table saw, if you're cutting the right stuff, can make some really obnoxious noise that's really terrible on your ear. Safety in mind, always, always, always. Uh, we're going to do something here today, and I've been uh, experimenting with this a little bit, trying to come up with, <coughs> sometimes some of these things that we attempt to do, by the time we get done with them, they become so convoluted and oh, there's so many steps to get to a point that it really isn't worth doing. Um, Least of all, trying to convince somebody else to do it. However, this is something that's really simple. These little things here, let me get this dead burn light somewhere else here. These little things here came from Craft Supply. And what they are is rubber stoppers for the bottom of pepper, salt and pepper shakers. And the beauty of these things is this sealing groove, in other words, the smallest portion here of this is exactly one inch. This bigger outside portion here that has to slide into it is an inch and a quarter. And of course this bigger outside and that where the where the uh, lip that prevents it from going clear into the salt shaker is bigger than that, I'm going to guess here that's probably, I don't know, maybe an inch and three-eighths by, by looking at it. So, primarily the most difficult part you got is drilling an inch hole for as far through a block of wood as you want your salt shaker to be tall. And stop a little shy of that if you want to make the shaker part uh, right with your rest of your salt shaker, in other words you just want to drill holes in the end of it and call it a salt shaker, then you need to stop somewhere about an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths of an inch shy. And if you're using a Forstner bit you're going to have to stop before that, before that little point breaks through. So you're going to have to pull up short by maybe a quarter inch and then do the other finish the other end and swing it around put on a jam chuck and smooth it up and put your holes in it. And it is, um, so I made a, a toothpick holder that looks like an overgrown rifle shell. So then I got to thinking about it, well why not make uh, a three piece setup with a toothpick dispenser and a salt and pepper shaker. So I've made the salt shaker using one of these. I'm going to change that. I'm going to make it the same way I'm going to do this one today. But I've made the salt shaker and I'm going to make the pepper shaker. I made the salt shaker out of ash so it's mm, more or less white. And I've got a piece of black walnut here long enough to do this pepper shaker. So it'll be black walnut for the pepper and ash for the salt. So we're going to fire this lathe up turn this thing around and then we'll get at making this thing here and it shouldn't be just too terribly long in the process. So um, let me move this camera and get set up for that and we'll get to it. 
This is the piece of black walnut already found centers and I got it between centers here. A drive spur on a headstock and a 60 degree center on a tailstock and what we're going to do is round one end of this up really quickly and get it into a four jawed chuck and go from there. Alrighty, so we are as good as we're going to get there. It's now in a four jaw chuck, and uh, we will round this off and we'll get ready to do something a little different. I'll bring you back and we'll get up to speed on it. Okay, we got this round and it's not the diameter we need, but this is the <coughs> the ash, one made out of ash for the salt. And this is where the the brass base hooks onto the cartridge. And of course this is the bottom where the plug is that I showed you. So we've got it marked where we need our detail line and where it's going to get cut off. This is a one inch Forstner bit. And we're going to slow our lathe way down. And I won't bore you with drilling holes, I'm sure you are all of drilled holes. But we're going to drill a hole clear up through, you know, to where this gets cut off here. And uh, there's a reason I'm going to do that because I'm going to change that one. I'm going to make it look more like a real shotgun shell on the end, but I'll show you that in a little bit. So I'll turn this camera back off, and when we get done drilling a hole here, uh, we'll be back and we'll show you how we fit the little stopper cap in there. Alright, what we have now is we've got the body of our pepper shaker. We've got a one inch hole drilled a little past it and we part this off and it'll come off in one chunk. Um, so this is going to be the, the, the canister size for pepper. But now we need to make accommodations for this little stopper. And as you can see, it just, you know, it, it'll fit, but it's got that lip there. So, we need to recess this, this side, below the surface. And, somewhere here, there it is. I've taken a set of Vernier calipers, and I know how big this is outside and it needs to be a little bit bigger to need to be able to get a fingernail down there or something to pop it out and we're going to mark this and cut a recess in here and then we're going to go inside of this another quarter of an inch and cut a groove for this little lip to fit in and I'll show you how that's done when we get there so let me get this recess cut in here and I'll be right back with you Okay, I, don't, I know you can't see it, but there's a pencil mark up in here, about a quarter of an inch 
where this offset is to accommodate this lip. In other words, this is below the bottom of the pepper shaker. So it'll set on a table without this rubber getting on it. So now I need to put this groove in here. <coughs> and I made this thing some time back for hollowing out small vessels. And it's a, it's a long reach Allen wrench is what it is. And uh, I don't know, it must be 5 16 quarter inch. And I just cut it back and made more or less a, a negative rake scraper end on it. And it reaches up in there and it cuts those grooves just absolutely fine. So that's what we'll do is we'll cut the groove in there. And then we'll fit this in so it fits like it's supposed to. And we'll be back with you. So we've cut a recess, used this little hook tool, and we've cut this groove in here. And now, this has got to be able to be put in there, you know, you don't want to have to use a um, wooden mallet to put it in, so it just goes in, hooked in on one side, fits around the inside like that, pops into place, and that holds your pepper and salt in place. And then you can hook the side of it with your fingernail and pull it back out and that's all there is to that. So now we've got the drilled and we've got the stopper the application for the stopper made so what we need to do is a little bit of shaping on this and then we're going to you know make it down to size that we want to match the other one uh, part it off and then we're going to make the top for this one and the other one the same and when we get there I'll show you what we're going to do <coughs> okay there it is not sanded but it is all shaped up and everything that's the line between the brass and the casing and there's the the shoulder for the shell blah 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 so we're going to sand this up and then we'll show you what we're going to do next um, throw this out here for consideration if a guy had some round dowels. I'm not sure how big this is. Uh, about an inch and three quarter, or excuse me. Uh, yeah, it's about an inch and three quarter inch and a half. So if a guy had some inch and three quarter inch and a half dowel, I, I'm about betting you could do this on a, on a drill press. Um, if you wanted to make something. I don't think you can find necessarily the need in the way to do these. Um, I would have showed this in real time but I'd have run out of time so um, I don't know probably 45 minutes in the whole process from start to finish and uh, <coughs> other than your drill press running vertical instead of horizontal I don't really know why it wouldn't work. So give it some thought, you know, um, inch hole, uh, inch and a sixteenth recess, and then make the cap and sand it and polish it, and you're, you know, sand it and finish it, and you're done with it. Uh, make a nice project to give somebody. So we're going to stop the camera here. I'm going to do the sanding on this thing and get the rest of it all ready to go, and then we'll knock it off of here, and we'll concentrate on the other end, on the <coughs> end of salt and pepper comes out of Okay, here we are. This is the walnut one we've been working on. It's all done and if you, this is the, the, the shaker end. This is the cap down here. It's on a jam chuck and what I've done is I've cut a recess in here. So what I'm going to do is to turn a little flat disc of wood and glue it in here so it looks like the crimp on a shotgun shell. And I'm going to do the same to the <laughs> the ash one for the salt. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll be back and show you the pair once they're all finished up, but that's that's the sum of making them. Alrighty, there it is. This is all done. Stoppers in it, and it's the match to this one. I had done this uh, shaker different because it was pepper. This is salt, and uh, it just makes it look like a different type shotgun shell but they're both they're both uh, mocks of mock-ups of shotgun shells 
and salt and pepper. So there you have it.